the hell is skier cross? All out of action, a lot of rubbing, racing, jumps. Yeah, you'll see. It's like motocross on skis, it's head to head. And there's always action, it's just sort of the nature of skier cross. You know, you put four guys on one course or six and here at the X and it's, uh, it's, it's action packed. From the moment you leave the start, your plans are gonna, you know, there are no plans. You're gonna have to just, you know, try and, and deal with whatever circumstances you have. It's intense, the course itself isn't like that gnarly when you're skiing by yourself, but when you have guys around you, you have to anticipate what this guy to your left, right, in front of you is gonna do, and then think about guys behind you. Your decisions have to be based upon what decisions they make, and you know, it, it, what time and space they're, they're in, so that's, uh, it, it brings a whole new element to the game. It's an incredibly physical sport. In my opinion, skier cross athletes are, some of the best skiers on the planet. Yeah, it's great to see uh, skier cross making into the Olympics in 2010. You know, it's been uh, a long time coming, and I've, I've been watching the evolution of the sport for quite some time. And I think that's really kind of the, the final mark in terms of making it a legitimate sport and, and you know getting into the Olympics. And uh, it's going to be more competitive now. You know, you can count on that. For my career, it's it's interesting because I was competing on the World Cup Alpine. You know, for Super G and downhill, and and then came over to ski across, and sport was like in its infancy. So, you know, the idea that it might be an Olympic sport someday was, you know, I thought, well, it'll be well after I'm done. So, maybe that's not the case. You know, with 2010 right around the corner, just a couple years away. So, it's starting to uh, occur to me that I might take a run at it. Darren Rawls is the most successful American downhill racer and, and he's got an incredible list of accomplishments that, that goes on and on and on. He's virtually done it all. I mean, he's won world championship medals on the most difficult courses and now he set his sights on skier cross, but it's not that easy. You don't just show up and win. Last year I had no clue what I was doing out here. I mean, it's, it's tough. These guys have a lot of practice. They've been doing it for six, seven years. I'm coming in still a little like still a little bit more of a rookie, you know. You feel nervous. There's a lot of like you looking around at the boys. Like there's a lot of good guys here, you know. And and uh, I'll definitely feel some, some nerves going. As soon as the gate drops, so you just like kind of like a raging bull, and and uh, it's game on. Yeah. I think last year he struggled to get onto the podium because he was you know in a hurry. You know he really felt like I'm the best gear here, and he was, but. He wasn't the best tactical skier there in, in, in terms of skier cross, so I think uh, he's learned a lot. I think he showed a lot of composure in Telluride at the first uh, Jeep Tour and event, and he's, yeah, I think he's ready, man. I think he's ready to win. A lot of people think that a guy with that kind of background and that, those kind of skills could easily win in skier cross, but he hasn't done it yet. I know his expectations are a lot higher, and if he could do well here in X Games, that would, that would, that would do a lot for him. Once an event reaches Olympic status, it's, it just puts it on everyone's radar. It legitimizes it in the eyes of the mass audience. So when a sport becomes Olympic caliber, people seem to think it's, you know, it means more. And, and it does, it truly does. You know? An Olympic medal would be you know, the, the pinnacle of the sport. You know, we all thought after our Alpine World Cup careers that that was it. You know, we were you know, not done, but um, out to pasture. But, uh, it's, this has been a, a totally second half of my career and the better half, and to be honest.